Good Saturday morning to y'all from Ohio, from the heartland. Waking up to a fine morning here. It's a little froggy out. Uh, about 7.30 in the morning. Roosters are crowing. And I'm about to get rocking on this yard. I got to, uh, got to get it mowed. Yeah, there's two of them over there. One of them sounds like he's got a cold. <laughs> Delayed my mow. It's gonna start about 7:30 this morning, and uh, I forgot that I wanted to try out some new blades on the Ferris. So I'll show you what we got going on. So we'll go in here, and I'll show you the new blades that I got. These are supposed to be the Silver Series Gator blades. Right now I'm using just a, a high lift blade, which is uh, these things right here. They come standard on the mower when I bought them. And I had ordered three more of these blades, but being that everything is being sourced from China or overseas or wherever, it's hard to find three blades that match. I uh, ordered the parts, same part number from the same place and got two different types of blades. So, contacted them and they immediately asked me which blades I wanted and sent me out a good set of blades. So, uh, if you're wondering where I got them, a place called the OEM Parts Store, uh, the OEMPartsStore.com. Uh, originally that was my store that I built back in 2007 and I ended up selling it to a guy in uh, Virginia and he's been running it ever since doing a great job with it it's one of the uh, largest online distributor of small engine parts and trailer parts so if you guys are looking for some some good product at a uh, good price uh, probably 99% of the time beating out anything on Amazon, the oempartstore.com. And this is what I'm gonna be mowing today. This is my backyard here. I'll be mowing all that over there. I'll even be mowing my neighbor's yard today. He's having a little bit of health problems, so I'm gonna take care of it for him. And then uh, that thing back there is eventually gonna become a holder for my my target uh, my target system that I <clears throat> excuse me that I just recently bought so that's what that's doing back there but uh, you can see that nice stripe in the yard and that was the last time I mowed look how good that stripe is like still after about a week and that's because of that big league striping kit that I got on there four hundred and thirty seven dollars to be exact with shipping and all of that stuff and I have to tell you uh, pretty nice and I'm actually gonna do another video about it I'll give you a little bit of preview there it is, there it is right there it's supposed to attach right here but I attached it up there because my, my ground's flat and I'll go over that later but uh, yeah so let's get going I got, just got done mowing well most of the yard I got about a quarter of it left I just wanted to do some video on the striping you can tell a lot better in that one right there just because of the way the sun's hitting it but it looks absolutely amazing look 
Look how nice that stripe is. Absolutely gorgeous. That's exactly what I was going for when I purchased the Big League Stripe Kit. Can't tell so much over here. Uh, you can when you're driving by, it looks beautiful, but uh, when you're down at this level, because the, the road's actually up a bit, but uh, there you can get a better idea right there. Look how beautiful that looks. But when you're down to this level, you can't really can't really see it that much. But uh, sorry for the wind noise. We are out here in the country. There's always about a, at least a 10 mile an hour breeze blowing. So I still have that over there to do. I also did my neighbor's front yard. Getting ready to do the back when I do mine. Look at that. Looks like a putting green. Other than the crabgrass and the dandelions and the weeds and every damn thing else that's growing. Look at that. But even all that, that stripe kit makes it look gorgeous. Yeah, I definitely recommend it. You know, I was going to build my own, but I'm pretty satisfied with the quality in this thing. It's heavy duty. The whole thing weighs about, I think it's uh, 40, 50, somewhere around 40, 50 pounds. And, you know, they've got a nice, nice powder coat on here. It's not cheap. The hardware on it's pretty heavy duty now they do sell a quick release kit uh, I purchased that quick release kit and one of the requirements is that you drill another hole so that quick release kit is not designed for your specific mower when you buy it no matter what you're probably going to be drilling so I've got a buddy of mine uh, fabbing me a, a quick release kit specifically for this mower and I'm gonna send theirs back. Quick release is not worth the $40 uh, for the Ferris IS 700, 600, 500, 400. It's not gonna, it's not gonna fit uh, flush. So I plan on um, that right there. I'm gonna put an elbow extension on it, bringing this back. So if this does come up, it'll pass this rear bar and I won't have any issues. Now, if I'd have put it on the, on the uh, hole that they suggest, uh, it wouldn't hit. So the reason this is gonna hit is because that's my fault. That bolt was already in there. I didn't wanna remove it. That bolt where I, or that bolt hole where I have it, uh, mounted now that was just an empty hole so i went ahead and utilized that but the quick release i'm gonna make uh, it'll just be a quick cotter pin or a trailer pin i should say or a lynch pin and there'll be a heavy duty spacer in between uh, precision ground so that it can uh, it can float and rub up against it without digging into metals on either side and uh, it'll actually bring it back a little bit so that it'll clear this uh, eventually what I'd like to do is build something to where this thing sits right up underneath right behind the tires that'd be nice that way you don't have any extra uh, you're not adding any extra inches to the length of this thing because it's already pretty daggone big to begin with but here you'll get a better idea of what I've done with the lights and the uh, there's that fuse box I put in there but yeah and then this right here <laughs> this I did myself when you buy one of these it comes with your choke your PTO engagement, your key, or your ignition switch, 
your throttle and your timer. So you got all this space here uh, that's just sitting there dead. So I hooked all mine up on switches and relays. I have a cigarette lighter because uh, I do smoke. And then check this out. I got a USB plug-in, but I bought the wrong one. I'm going to have a... I, I just ordered another one that has Type A and Type C for the quick charge. And there's my lighter. And then I put a, a voltage... Uh, voltage meter in it nice LED if I plug the key in here you can see so if you guys are interested in doing the same to yours and adding some bells and whistles to it just let me know I can walk you through the process and the wiring diagram so you can get your uh, you can get your relay switches in and your your toggle switches those are eight pin toggle switches so a little bit of wiring but uh, it's super safe the uh, this mower comes with a 16 amp alternator built in so you only got 16 amps to work with when you order these lights right here the company will tell you that, that light bar right there order uh, it pulls 16 amps so they're gonna tell you the amp draw on at 16 amps and that those down here uh, pull a combined of six and that's not true I tested the amp draw on it. That one up there is pulling 3.2. Those down here combined are pulling 3.2. And obviously the ones in the back up front are pulling 3.2. And uh, I'll show you what they do here. It's just a pretty cool switches. This is for my back one here. And when I want to switch modes, I simply toggle through and I'll show you what they do. I bought them for the uh, lighting up at night when uh, when I'm mowing it at night. Normally, I like to mow in the evening. It's not it's not best to mow during midday. Although I did today because it's absolutely gorgeous out here and it's not too hot. So the um, the lights I put up there are to basically put light all the way around the mower back way out front and these up here are gonna spread it out to the left and right and these are actually pretty cool these are camera mounts they're made for a camera <laughs> so no drilling and that's what I wanted to do when I installed these lights I didn't want to do any drilling on on this mower uh, because I didn't want to break the the paint coat on it to start any rust so everything right here is uh it's clamp on it's tough as nails it's it's real sturdy no matter how bumpy and uh it's all made it's all camera equipment and these lights will go up and down swivel left and right they'll do they'll, you can face them anywhere you want so up top uh, i utilize the holes that were already there and we just screwed those in. I actually, the, there was holes there and I went ahead and threaded them and then I, I screwed the lights in. So, and then I wanted to have, I definitely wanted to have my fuse box so that everything's safe. And I've also got a couple more spots in there uh, that I can add. I can add more stuff if I want to, but uh, let's see. Three, six, nine. So I'm, I'm pulling about 10 amps already. I've got enough for six more amps on the draw. But I think I've got enough. As of right now, I can I can run every single light that I've got, and it still has enough amperage draw left to power what the mower's requiring. So I'm probably done. But that's my new IS700Z by Ferris.